Imagine you're on a busy highway for your morning commute. You got your foot on the pedal, the, the gas is accelerating. Frustration sets in as you hit heavy traffic and you slam on the brakes. You sort of have a rev up, things can slow down and weaken, but then it's possible they might intensify again quickly. You might be able to go fast again once traffic clears, but intensify? Now replace the highway and traffic with the ocean and yourself with a hurricane. That's an eyewall replacement cycle. During an eyewall replacement cycle, this outer eyewall develops, which then causes the inner eyewall to weaken, and that will collapse back down and shrink to return back to a single eyewall. This whole process can take over a day. Hurricanes do not maintain maximum strength during these cycles. That causes the intensity of the hurricane to go dramatically down, but often only temporarily, because once that inner eye wall is gone, now the outer eye wall can take charge. The eye wall replacement cycles, we know they look a little wompy on the air. That's the way that the storm maintains its intensification. You might have just as strong of a hurricane that you did before. But there's another method to the madness. Oftentimes, it's a mechanism for the storm to grow, so the wind field might expand in size. Not every hurricane goes through one of these cycles and some can go through multiple. Typically, it's the strong hurricanes that have the eyewall replacement cycles. There's a category three, four, and five. Eyewall replacement cycles are bad news because of its larger size after the cycle. It's much more capable of producing strong winds over a larger area and is a much bigger storm surge producer. Incredible ocean warmth is increasing the probability of a hurricane reaching major strength. If you can get a stronger hurricane, then you're probably increasing your chances of seeing that eyewall replacement cycle. While one of these just before landfall can help weaken a hurricane's strongest winds. When the storm comes ashore, those stronger winds cover bigger area, ultimately impact more people, can mean more rainfall, can mean more storm surge. Um, so it's sort of a blessing and a curse when it comes to eyewall replacement cycles.